Now for the latest on Felicien Kabuga's trial at The Hague, I'm joined live via Skype by reporter Venust Shimiyimana. Venust, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you for having me. Venust, uh, bring us up to speed on today's proceedings at The Hague. Today's proceedings were about presenting the first evidences in this trial. And the first witness was there to confirm that he personally met Kabuga at two occasions, once in November 1993 and second in February 1994. He confirmed to the prosecution, prosecution sorry, that Kabuga who led the delegation to the Minister of Information was responsible for the editorial uh, agenda of RTLM, the propaganda radio that was calling for violence against Tutsi. And also confirmed that in 1994, the Minister of Information was about to sanction the radio, eventually to close the broadcast of Radio Mirkolin, but Kabuga insisted that uh, it was the right of Radio Mirkolin to broadcast is the right of telling the Rwandan people what was going on. What we heard this morning was someone who said that uh, Kabuga had the overall responsibility of Radio Mirkolin, but also the fact that Radio Mirkolin was uh, calling uh, who to the unite against Tutsi, especially from October 1993, after the assassination of the Burundian president, Merkir Ndadaye. What reasons were given for uh, not having him appear in person in the court today? For the second time, Kabuga didn't appear in court, but I can tell you that today he was in his prison, but he assisted to the session. So he didn't turn up in the courtroom, but he was there. We could see him and we were told that he would be following the session from the prison. Uh, Kabuga didn't want to come again for the second time to the courtroom simply because he doesn't want to be represented by the French counsel uh, Emmanuel Artit, who believes he doesn't uh, defend his own interests and who would rather see him replaced by another counsel, Peter Robinson. It's reported that the court hearings today uh, was very, very short. Do we know the reasons why? Indeed, it was very short. The reason behind this is that uh, Kabuga is very frail, is very weak. He's uh, 87, 89 for some, and uh, 87 for others. He's very weak, and um, he has been allowed to attend trial sessions only for two hours a day. And today, uh, the prosecution wanted eventually to extend the that time in order to listen more to the witness. But the defense lawyer, Emmanuel Tete, stood up to say that he believes that these would really jeopardize the interests of his client and that for those medical reasons, they should not go beyond two hours. What was accepted and the trial had to stop. Thank you so much for your reporting.